In this video, we're going to learn about the point-slope and slope-intercept forms for the equation of a line. There are other forms for the equation, but these are really the two primary ones that we'll see very often. For the point-slope form, we're going to start out just by using the equation for slope of a line. So when you look at this fraction here, y minus y naught divided by x minus x naught, that should remind you of slope or average rate of change. And in fact, that's exactly what it is. The slope between two points on a line is simply the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. And in this case, our two points are the given point, x naught, y naught, and the other point is just whatever other point on a line we might be interested in. And then the m is the slope. So to turn this into an easier looking equation, all we're going to do is multiply both sides of this equation by that denominator x minus x naught. So on both sides, we're just going to multiply by x minus x naught, x minus x naught. And on the left hand side, the x minus x naughts just divide out. And so what we end up with is y minus y naught equals m times the quantity x minus x naught. So this is the form that you want to use when you're given a point and a slope. And hence, that's why we call it the point-slope form. But sometimes we're given different information. Sometimes we're given the slope and the intercept, is specifically the y-intercept of a line. So if we take that y-intercept, remember when we say the y-intercept of the line is some number b? All that means is that the point 0, comma b is on the line. That's just another way of saying that fact. And so if the point 0, comma b is on the line, and the line has slope m, then we can simply plug that information into the point-slope form. Here's our slope m. Here's our x-coordinate of our given point. That's our x naught. And then b is the y-coordinate of our given point. That's our y naught. And so all we've done here is use the point-slope form with our y-intercept being the point that was given. And so if we simplify that, we get y minus b equals, and that's just mx on the right-hand side. And if we add b to both sides, we get y equals mx plus b. And that might look familiar to you. That's our slope-intercept form. So the slope-intercept form for a line is y equals mx plus b. And this is the form that we want to use when the information that we're given is the slope and the y-intercept of a line. And very often we'll be asked to transform equations of lines into this format because it's very easy to read off the slope and the y-intercept, which is useful information in some applications.